Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I have got the two flashback Team of the Week players coming out tomorrow. Now I do want to give a shout out to Too Easy for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like on the vid and make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below Nodi Gang per usual guys. These are the two flashback legend players coming. So as you guys know, if you watched my Team of the Week prediction video, I said I was looking through and it only really made sense for EA to logically do a tight end because of all of the players, all the positions on offense, the only position where we don't have an actual set player and it was literally only an LTD was tight end because of Mark Andrews. Now I actually went through and I searched up tight ends and I was trying to find a good game and I could not find like an exceptionally good tight end game. Now I will say this, on ESPN, it only goes back to 2002. So maybe this is from a game in the 1990s for Shannon Sharp. If that's the case, then I wouldn't actually be able to find that. But ESPN actually only goes back to 2002 and the best games that I could find were from, I think, Antonio Gates and Jeremy Shockey. So I'm guessing this is from sometime in the 1990s. But regardless, EA actually did make, in my opinion, the right decision here by going with a tight end and not only going with a tight end, but actually going with a really, really good tight end in Shannon Sharp. This card is actually pretty good. Now it's pretty good for a multitude of reasons. And number one is like the route running, the catching, and the speed like this card's actually pretty good so you guys can see he's got 86 speed 82 strength 89 catching 90 catch traffic 86 spec catch 89 short 87 medium and 75 run block now this is really good because that means that powered up shannon sharp is going to be over 90 short route running and also with play fake he is going to be able to go ahead and get over 90 medium route running which means of course tight end apprentice you're going to be able to take full advantage of tight end apprentice and then of course his catch traffic everything is already really good and his run block is actually pretty good so let's go in and compare him to darren waller which is in my opinion the best tight end currently in the game you guys can see waller does have him beat slightly in speed it's only a plus one it's really not a big difference there uh the strength is an 82 waller has only a 67 also you guys can see the run block 69 and compared to 75 and then of course we have 89 catching and 90 catch and traffic so we have 92 catching better and then 88 catch and traffic so 88 to 90 catch and traffic there that is uh pretty big and then of course we have 89 spectacular catch compared to 86 i really shouldn't say pretty big because to be honest like that catch traffic is not a big big difference but over 90 nice to see there so in reality is the price difference worth it between waller and shannon sharp i have got waller on my team currently he goes for seven hundred and forty thousand coins though and also you guys can see that after the catch waller's not really that crazy right i mean he's six foot six which is great uh, he's got 69 trucking 79 change of direction 84 carrying but really i don't really use my tight end all that much to be completely honest with you guys so for me personally i am probably gonna switch i'm probably gonna switch from darren waller to shannon sharp just to save the coins there i do feel like waller may still be the better tight end just strictly because of the one speed like literally only because of the one speed uh maybe if the acceleration is a big difference to him i'm at 88 maybe if shannon sharp doesn't really have that speed there then maybe you want to make a case to keep waller but for me personally for someone who doesn't really use their tight end that much i think i'd rather have sharp now one case you could make though is shannon sharp is only 6'2 darren waller is six foot six so maybe if you like to throw those high balls to your tight end that type of stuff maybe you would rather keep darren waller but i'll uh i'll probably end up making the switch to shannon sharp you guys can see the other player is john abraham now i really like the shannon sharp pick i don't agree with the john abraham pick now if i remember correctly last year or i should say the last time he was in men anyways i think he was a right end I want to say so i believe he's going to be a right end again 
So if he is a right end, then this means not only did they not give us a safety when we clearly don't have a free safety or a strong safety, but they gave us a right end, which we just recently got OCU Manura. Now, it doesn't show here if he happens to be an outside linebacker, but usually when they show outside linebackers, like the stats they show are coverage stats, stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure that Abraham here is in fact a right end. It just doesn't really make sense to me. They also just released a new right end over the weekend with... Oh, why can I not remember his name? Uh, he's a right end, he's a legend, and I just picked him up for the team. Deacon Jones. So they already have a right end in Osu Minora. We just got Deacon Jones a couple of days ago, and now another right end here. And we don't have a free safety, and we don't have a strong safety. So I don't know what they're doing with Team of the Week. Maybe the LTD is going to be a safety, which... I mean, it, it, it's honestly, like, legitimately the only gap we have right now in Team of the Week. We just don't have any safety heroes. We have multiple wide receivers, and we already have an LTD tight end and now a set tight end, which I think Shannon Sharp was a great pick. But why no safeties? I, I just don't understand it. But you guys can see John Abraham, 85 speed, 90 acceleration with 85 strength, 87 tackling, 89 play rank, 84 block shed, 84 power move, and 91 finesse move. Now, this is a pretty good card. I will say it's a pretty good card. It actually reminds me a lot, though, as I just mentioned, of OC Minora. Like, a lot. You guys can see the stats here. 83 speed, 89 acceleration. So you have two more speed, one more acceleration, strength of an 85 in comparison to an 84. So plus one there. Block shed, 84. Finesse move, 90. So same block shed, plus one to the finesse move. I don't really think it's a major, major difference between the two. Now, I will say when you're comparing like defensive ends, especially, uh, and you take a look at the players that we currently have in the game, do I think he is better? Yes, he's a better card than OCU Minora. Do I think it's a game-changing difference? Like, oh, I need to, if you maybe powered up OCU Minora, do I need to unpower up OC and then power up John Abraham? I don't think so. I think we're going to get some better right ends on the game pretty soon. We also already have Deacon Jones, who just came out, given I believe John Abraham is uh, definitely faster than Deacon Jones. And that is really the main difference here between John Abraham and OC Minora is just the two speed, right? I mean, 83 85, that's basically the only major difference between these two cards. So for me, not really a need at Team of the Week to go with John Abraham. Maybe they have something planned for safeties. Maybe they are going to do like a Cam Chancellor type safety for Team of the Week or something. But they did have potentially this week. They could have gone with Rodney Harrison. They could have gone with Sean Taylor. Both of them had really, really good weeks. Could have even gone with like a Jarius Bird. Like he was even one that could have got a card or Antro roll when he was actually a safety as well. Four safety choices I, I actually pointed out and said these guys all could potentially get a Team of the Week card. And instead they give us another right end i just really don't get it but it's a decent card it's an upgrade overuse oc Minora. uh i don't think it's worth the switch shannon sharp though looks really really good so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below i'll see you guys next time